For USCFootball.com, I'm Keely Rohr here with Dan Wilber. Instant analysis of day five of fall camp. First day and all pads, but they didn't go full speed. Full tackling to the ground. Tomorrow will be more full speed and they'll actually have a scrimmage-like portion. Uh, but there were some real hits. Mm -hmm. uh, so they went, I'd say they went full speed. Didn't always completely pull up uh, and, uh, you know, they're playing what they call thud, where you're <laughs> supposed to hit them and grab them. But they kind of ran through them a few times. Uh, I think... Uh, I think John Houston got two of the run-through knockdowns, uh, and he's uh, he's really shown up here. Uh, so they were Cam Smith was talking about, and and then Clay was talking about what an athlete he is. And I think you talked to him, so mm -hmm. you'll have a have a nice uh, interview with him. Yep. Well, they were talking about John Houston. They said he's a guy who can go out to the boundary, he can get out of the box, and that's something that you didn't really see from. Uh, Cam Smith, you know, he had more. He had, he has more athleticism as a as a player. Well, so they said, you know, Cam is is the guy from tackle to tackle. You go past that, or you try to. You have to walk out. You know, uh, a linebacker to play uh, pass defense, for example, and you can really do it with either uh, John Houston or Jordan Iasefa. And you you've got two, you know, six three kids. Uh, Jordan is 233 pounds. Uh, I don't know. Did John tell you? What, what he's weighing now, but I think he's trying to play at 220, and which is big enough, but basically they're going to depend on Cam to take care of the middle, and they're going to send those guys or let them you know, go out to the boundary. And uh, I don't think USC's had two linebackers that athletic than that size you know, in a long, long time. I mean, this is, this is something they're just getting used to, to, to have two guys uh, like those two. Mm -hmm. And then Levi Jones, again, freshman, haven't seen all he can do. He's as big and, uh, and, and, and very athletic as well. So it's, it's kind of a nice mix to have Cam as the solid, strong, you know, veteran guy. And then three uh, younger kids that uh, have, have all kinds of athleticism. Mm -hmm. We got to talk to the defense, as you probably have assumed by now. And both John Houston and Marvel Tell said no spot is safe with Clancy Pendergast. He, they might be starters out there for first team now, but they said that no spot is safe. Yeah, I think the, the, I think the competitive atmosphere here does take you back uh, a decade to, to the kind of atmosphere you had with, with Pete. There might be more players here. Uh, those Pete, you know, Carroll teams didn't ha always have great numbers, but they had great competition in practice, and you're seeing that already, that they really – uh, they compete. The, you know, the defensive backs are not going to give the wide receivers anything, and they just uh, they go after one another, and that's great. And having you know two and three guys, uh, you know, trying to make a spot for themselves is uh, is about all you could ask uh, as a coach. Mm -hmm. Injury updates. I think the biggest thing to come out of practice: freshman tight end Josh Follow. After a team period, he kind of limped over to the trainer's table, was examined for a while, and then was carted off the field. Helton said he has a left knee injury. That he I think he said first, and this is always makes you wonder when they say lower body injury. Mm -hmm. And then he said he's going to get an MRI on his knee. Yes. So I think he kind of got to, because he had his leg straight out like that, and he wasn't going to walk on it. And, and that, a lot of times, is just precautionary. It could be a, you know, a, a sprain, whatever. But, uh, but, you know, it's something that you got to take, uh, you know, consideration of cons because of the fact that uh, Daniel Motterbaby still mm -hmm. is, has that hip flexor. So uh, they were down a little bit, although Kerry Angeline uh, caught a touchdown pass in the final scrimmage and the two-point conversion. So they hadn't thrown to him a lot before that, but all of a sudden there he is, and you realize, you know, he's almost 6'8 and can catch a ball. So... Uh, so far, so good, but you really would like to get Daniel back in there. Mm -hmm. A lot of red zone work again today. Today seemed more balanced. Often, Stevens, they kept going at it. Didn't seem like there's a clear winner of the day. I would probably say I would have got, given it to the offense. No yeah. interceptions. Uh, all three offenses scored when they went down, uh, you know, in the, the tight red zone from 10 yards in. And, and they were making life really difficult in the one-on-one -on -one red zone stuff. Yeah. Uh, a lot of guys made a lot of plays. Uh, Michael Pittman made some big-time catches against really good – I mean, you know, guys like, uh, you know, Biggie Marshall and, and Jack Jones, and, you know, they're playing great defense, but uh, 
sometimes, you know, that guy, the ball is, you know, Sam's throwing it, the ball's thrown too well. That guy's just bigger than you are. Uh, Tyler Vaughn's, I thought, made some good plays. And Deontay, as he always does, uh, made some good plays. So uh, uh, I would give it probably to the uh, the offense today. And they, they need a kind of a comeback day. They're feeling pretty good about themselves after the last two days. Mm-hmm. We still also saw a lot of special teams work. What did you see from the place kickers? Is that something that USC fans should start to get a little worried about? Well, I hate to use the word worried because <laughs> you'll see that on the board. You'll see that yeah. everywhere. I don't think, you know, when you've got four plus weeks to get ready, uh, you shouldn't be worried. I would say, though, that I was maybe being a, a little bit of a wise guy on the sidelines as they were putting together the different special teams, punt coverage and kickoff coverage. And I said, they may need a field goal coverage team to stop the returns on the short field goals. Uh, I, I, they may not be kicking too many field goals out, you know, past the 40. Uh, not a good day uh, for the place kickers, accuracy-wise, distance-wise. Uh, it's, a, it's a work in progress, as they say and there's going to probably need to be a lot of progress. Mm -hmm. Like we said earlier, tomorrow will be a full pad scrimmage-like practice. What are you looking at? What are you going to try and get out of tomorrow? I'd like to see how the, you know, the defense just comes together uh, in general. Uh, and, and, and just where that they talk about their uh, comfort level with the second year and the confidence and all that. Second thing i like to see is I really like to see the run game, see how they're uh, they're doing different things with the run game. Uh, when they got the first team uh, ones against ones in the red zone at, at the 10, they just ran Rojo, boom, inside for about, I'm guessing, seven, and then a quick hit outside. You know, So they didn't throw the ball either time. They just boom, boom, and scored against the first defense. So uh, uh, I'll be real interested to see how, how that goes uh, together. I think Vavai's hit a, a very good uh, Malapai, a very good uh, fall camp. Uh, he's 210 pounds. Stephen Carr's 210 pounds. We know what Aka Cedric can do. They're gonna, and you know, and uh, Ronald is up to 207. They actually have some power backs. You know, they're they're quick and they're athletic, uh, and they can catch a ball. But uh, it'll be interesting to see how they incorporate that. They're, you know, bigger running backs, not as big on the offensive line. How does that all go together? And, and with Sam at the quarterback, because they're letting him uh, do more things, challenging him, uh, letting him get the ball to the running backs uh, in what looked more like long handoffs and all that. So I'll be interested to see, uh, see the running backs. Mm -hmm. We're hearing a lot about Vi and Stephen Carr so far. If you're Aka Cedric Ware, are you starting to get a little concerned about that? Well, I don't know. I think they know what Aka Cedric can do. So I, don't, I think it, this is one of those times where you let – the, you know, a redshirt freshman and the, and the true freshman show what they can do. I think there's a sense with them, they know, you know, what Aka Cedric can do, how tough he is, how physical he is. I don't think he's got anything to prove, but you're right. Uh, there are only so many plays and there's only one football. <laughs> and, uh, you know, you, you uh, this is why I would like to see them go for a 90 play game average, not 80, and get, get more, you know, five more plays on offense, six, you know, 10 more plays on offense, uh, because I'd like to see, you know, all those guys get a chance. Mm -hmm. All right, that's going to wrap it up for day five of fall camp. For Dan Weber, I'm Keely Orr. For more, check out usfootball.com.